felt that moving across the country and training for a sport that isn't very lucrative to me, I haven't felt it to be very sacrificial and that I enjoy it so much and I love it and I feel very blessed to be able to be even lifting these kind of weights. Because I never expected to be able to excel at any sport. I was never talented growing up at anything. And then to be one of the best in the country and be able to compete at the world level is also something I still don't believe or feel like I have earned or am good enough to be able to do. In 2009, I was doing cleans with straps from below the knee. I was doing triples with 160 kilos, and on my third rep, I caught it backwards on my heel in a full squat, and as I was falling, both my elbows hit the ground, the weight stayed in my wrist, and snapped them both back. And I got a, a perilunate dislocation in each wrist, which is dislocation of some of the wrist bones, which tore ligaments, sheared off the cartilage, and broke some bones in each wrist. And I got off work and I checked my messages and his coach had called me. I was like, well, that's weird. His coach has never called me before. And he's like, Sarah, this is Paul. I need you to call me as soon as you can. Zach had an accident. I probably was going 20 or 30 over the speed limit down the thoroughway to get to the hospital. And I had it out right then. That's when I cried and that's when I asked God, why is this happening to Zach? It was uh, February of 2009. I was told I'd never put 100 pounds over my head again. Obviously getting kicked out of the training center was discouraging, they don't believe in me type of thing, but I told myself I was gonna do everything I could to make a comeback from this. became a source of almost curiosity, like, okay, there's got to be some reason, and I don't know if we're going to see it right now, or we're going to see it later, or whatever it is, but I just got this real sense of curiosity to see what God was going to do with it. And then it went from being so much of a horrible event to just being a different adventure, something unexpected, let's see what happens, and it's just been, it's been amazing to watch. People come up to us in Costco or something when they had both casts on. Dude, what'd you do? Because you don't usually see people with casts on both arms. And it got to where Zach would just say, well, I gave somebody a double high five or something like that. Because you go, well, do you know what a clean is? No, I don't know what a clean is. Okay, well, cleans when you take the weight from the floor to the chest. And I was doing this exercise and blah, blah, blah. It just got to be too long a story. So we just started making up stuff.
Just eyes open, sun beats on my back as I gaze upon the unseen wind. And there you are, wandering, whispering wisdom that's eternal from the heart to the mind to the hand to the journal. Now the kernel of the sea to the cleft of the rock, and it's watered by the winds, have power to unlock. Stop the clock, a chronological logic with its homogenized systems that it can't dodge it because they're dead. Side unseen, the substance of dwells in me, cause my natural eyes on the ghost skin deep with the eyes of my heart and